All right, I'm Tice, and I'm here to show you a um, unique setup here. We're gonna do high flow nasal cannula with INO in line. And the indication for this is simply the same as INO, always the same indications for INO as usual, uh, but this use case is for if you really wanna extubate your patient, but they're still on INO. In other words, they're ready it's a post-cardiac surgery patient, they're ready for extubation, and the physician wants to continue the INO, then we'll do it via high flow. And I'll show you how it works here. You'll recognize this, this is the injector module. There's always a 15 mil adapter available on the back here. And then here's the sample line. So in the same way as on the vent, we're gonna put those in line in their logical places, and I'll show you in a minute. To do it, you're gonna need two additional parts that might not be on the back of the INL machine. 22 mil, and this thing right here. You'll recognize this as being how we bleed in oxygen on a CPAP machine. So they're readily available and we'll keep them stocked in SI on the bronc cart in the little um, clear cubbies on the bronc cart. So once you have these, you start with the 22. We're gonna put the injector in line on the dry side with the arrow pointing down towards the humidifier, like so. So you have a 15 mil here, a 22 mil here. Very straightforward, straight from the float. We're talking about flow here. We wanna to try to do at least 40, if not 50 liters a minute, because we'll get the benefits of continuous high flow for hyperinflation as well. And then now we're going to want to put the sample port in line here. And that's where this comes in. As you see here, there's a bit of a proprietary connection and it fits perfectly on this side. And then this is equivalent to a 22, which is designed to fit um, on our OptiFlow 3 nasal cannula. And then you won't need this part anymore, just the sample line itself. Now it's not going to lure lock in. So I want you to really push and twist, push hard and twist um, to make sure this is firmly seated. It'll stay in place um, as long as you really make sure you cinch it down. If ever it does come loose, the INO will alarm. The injector will continue to work. The patient won't lose any INO and then we'll just make sure to reconnect it. So I think that's it. The, uh, as you know, since we have the injector in line and the sample for it, all the settings will be the same. When we do this with high flow, we'll typically be on five liters a minute to start. We'll typically wean down um, every 30 minutes by one part when it's time to wean based on certain criteria. Make sure that you ask the physician what criteria you want to be monitoring and what the threshold is for to stop the weaning or continue the weaning. And then to make sure that this all ends up in a nursing communication order like we do with our regular INO. Just remember this is off-label use of a drug so we wanna make sure our orders are in and if we're weaning that the weaning schedule is very explicitly outlined in the order uh, including the criteria that we're monitoring. So um, kind of be ready for this, it's not gonna come around every day. Um, I think the biggest things are to grab one of these adapters, grab a 22 mil adapter and um, it very logically will piece together. Just like in the vent, we're injecting here on the dry side of the humidifier, arrow pointing towards the patient. And then we're sampling all the way up by the patient. Uh, because it's single limb, there's no Y to keep it 100 cc's back from anything. So it can be right up here by the interface. So if you have any questions, um, just hit me up and uh, uh, call your lead. They'll be more than willing to come down and give you a hand. Cool, thanks everyone.